Today, I saw effects of the global reset and it was somewhat disturbing. The first thing I see this morning, I'm going to a local gas station and I see this guy who's very rapper -esque. He's got on a white tee, he's got on like five or six gold chains, several gold rings, he's got that look and he's driving a Range Rover. And I'm behind him and I'm slightly annoyed because I assume, because I, I, you know, where the gas station is, I was gonna have to go that way to get on the road to make my turn. And I was with someone who was behind him in the store. And Mr. Rapperess, the gold chains, the rings, the Range Rover, the Range Rover, I'm gonna say it was 2019, maybe a 2020. He put seven dollars worth of gas. Okay, I don't know if he put premium in there because Range Rovers take premium and premium is six dollars a gallon. So he put, if he put premium in there, I don't know. He put one gallon and a little bit more. And I was sitting there like, it reminded me when I did the video, like I'm gonna take some white owls and seven on, on $10 on pump six. And I don't live in that world. And every time I'm exposed or my world intersects with those worlds, it's always puzzling. Cause today I got some gas for the Porsche. It was like 55 bucks and that was like on half a tank. That's how I know what, you know, premium gas is, a six bucks and some change. And I was just sitting there like, this guy has this image of the gold chains and the rings and the Range Rover, and he can only put $7 worth of gas in this video. This video was brought to you by B-School for Hustlers. Right now, in a few weeks, I'll be launching a product called the Intellectual Property School, where I'm going to teach you how to do the things that I do. First of all, first disclaimer, you're not gonna make the kind of money that I make because you don't have my level of business experience, but at some point you could potentially get there. I figure within six to 12 months, you could be consistently making five to $15,000 per month. This is gonna be pretty much on the 12 on months side. It really, but I'm gonna teach you how to start a YouTube channel and I have a small YouTube channel and make money. I'm gonna teach you how to create online courses. I'm gonna teach you how to create an offer. I'm gonna teach you all of my dirty little tricks because here's the thing. You want to be in a position where you can practice income velocity. You don't wanna be in a position where life is just, you know, you're struggling to pay gas, you're struggling to buy groceries, you're struggling to pay, you don't, you don't wanna be in that situation. I've not been in that situation in like 23 years. So I want you to join me and come to the business side, come to the business side. So the link is below and during this pre-launch, what I'm gonna do is give you 65% off and access to home economics. I gotta work some stuff out with home economics because uh, I had to send Teachable um, something because the discount code, the, the box with discount code is not popping up. So we gotta work that out, but yeah. Go below and you will get access to home economics and you will also be open to some snazzy stuff in the future. I promise you. So, Mr. Rapper S, I, I left me scratching my head because I do all of this research and I know that we're in the middle of the global reset. We're in the middle, uh, we're in a recession right now. And I know people are hurting. And this brings me to the second part of symbols, signs, and repercussions of the Great Reset. Someone in my building got evicted and they put their stuff in the parking garage. And I've been quizzing people all day. When I get in the elevator, it's like, hey, how long you live here? And have you ever seen an eviction? And they were like, no. Everyone who's been here for a few years is shocked because 
you know, I think it was a single mother because all I saw was a bunch of toys, a bunch of children's stuff, in one bed. So I'm thinking they were living in a one bedroom apartment. And that's like $3,000 a month. And I was like, why are you living here? Because, you know, this might be me somewhat being elitist, but I don't feel that you should be living here if you cannot afford the proper furniture. It just, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I wouldn't move in here with some big lots furniture. I, I wouldn't move in here. It, it would make no sense because it's not proportional. You know, when I bought my Porsche, I parked it in the garage. I don't think you should be buying all these supercars and parking them outside. I think you need to park them in the garage. But that's me. And I was sitting there and I got some feedback because I posted some pictures of the stuff. And, you know, I was, you know, I had a few single mothers chime in and talking about they moved to an um, upper rent district because it was safe. And even though they didn't have money for much else. And I, I, I feel that. I feel that. However, and I had to do a little research. Kids who live here, the public school is Sarah Smith Elementary, uh, one of the top ranked schools in Georgia. So I have often said on this channel that you need to stay out the low rent district because if you have children, if you have children, you will be picking their friends, you will be picking their environment. So with that, I can understand why someone would move here and be paying this high rent while they're suffering because clearly they were struggling, clearly they were struggling. And this is something I've noticed in the, we, we have an area where people move in and out and a lot of people will move out and just leave the furniture in that area. And I've seen a lot of cheap furniture. I've seen particle board furniture. That's the stuff, if it gets wet, it starts bubbling up. And I had to really sit down with myself and like, the global reset is on and popping. Because, you know, 2018, 2019, I was talking about it was coming. It's here. It's here. Mr. Rapper S, $7 for a Range Rover? Premium gas, if he got premium gas. I don't know if he got premium gas. And that was one of the things that used to piss me off when people would rent my cars and then email, text me, what kind, what grade of gas I put in there? And it says premium on the gas tank, premium, right? And I was sitting there just thinking, if you were to extrapolate all of the Mr. Rappers in this poor, unfortunate single mom because she's clearly a single mom based upon the stuff I saw because it's terrible to lose your house it's terrible to be evicted it's terrible it's a terrible terrible situation and I was sitting there this is happening all over Atlanta because it's happening here and this this is the this is the money district and like I said when I was you know meeting people in the elevator you know folks I've seen several times and I was like, hey, how long have you lived here in this? Like, they've never seen an eviction. They've never seen an eviction. And this is part of the global reset. Where you once was, you will be reset at a lower level. So let's say you were in a house, you'll be reset to an apartment. If you were in an apartment, you would be reset to a roommate situation, a house hacking situation, or you'd be homeless. You'd be homeless. And one of the things that I'm seeing is that people are starting to suffer. There's no more stimulus money in the economy. No more stimulus money in the economy. No more um, assistance. We're in a raw, naked economy. And this is just the beginning. Because this thing hadn't caught on. This thing hadn't caught fire yet. This thing hasn't accelerated. Bitcoin is literally, because I've been watching Bitcoin for weeks, because at one point it was hoovering between 31 and 29, 31, and it dropped big time. It went down to 23,000. 
And I know I have the crypto bros who want to school me and tell me how I should learn about cryptocurrency and how my views are wrong and uneducated. And I got this message for my crypto bros. How come you don't have no money since you're so skilled and educated with crypto? Why don't you have any money? Because every time I ask this simple question, how much money have you made from crypto? I made $200,000 from my Bitcoin. It's an easy question to answer and you all refuse to answer it. You start doing double monkey backflips. <coughs> you start doing all kinds of gyrations because the reality is you're not making that much money. Once again, if you put $1,000 in crypto and that $1,000 turned to 10,000, you have made money in the crypto markets, but you've not made money that will change the basis of your life. And that's what I'm talking about. And that I think gets lost because I had one little weak, little moist man. Maybe I should start selling online courses. This seems to be where the money is. As if that is easy. This person doesn't have the ability, the talent, nor the expertise to sell an online course. So, I, I'm a little sad at the moment because during this global reset, a lot of people are going to feel a lot of pain. Like this poor woman who got evicted today. That's extremely painful. That's extremely humiliating. And this is going to start happening all across America. People are going to be evicted. People are going to be homeless. And this is the ramifications of the global reset. And right now, people are looking at the stock market and they're like, hey, how come it didn't bounce back? Because, you know, typically people are used for the market being down a few weeks. Then it bounces back. It hasn't bounced back. The market's melting down. Crypto's melting down. Um, as, uh, you know, it's getting dippier, as uh, the real estate trapper says. And one of the things that a lot of you guys don't seem to understand, if you're not doing the proper things, you could be globally reset. I am fundamentally aware of what can happen in like, I've had my litmus test. 2019, I had a heart attack. Did my, my health at the point suffered and I was in a sorry state for a few months, but financially, I didn't miss a lick. So that was my litmus test. That was my stress test. Because a lot of the moist, weak men come after me, what about when your business closed? Uh, let, let me go ahead and explain something to you. There are many, many successful businesses where the business owner has been making money for decades. And they, they want to read this stat that X amount of businesses close and so on. And this is one of the things that people try to ana analyze my business without the wisdom, the experience, or the insight. They don't have the ability to analyze my business because they're all up on topical surface issues. And like all of you guys who like, I don't agree with your assessments on crypto. Okay. Next time I ask you how much money you made from crypto, if you do not answer that question, I, you will confirm that you're full of shit. You will absolutely confirm. It's a simple question. It's simple. It's simple. And not one of the crypto bros who disagree with me and wanted to school me and how I need it. And once again, let me let me just say this plainly and clearly. Why would I abandon something that I know makes money to go over here and to hope to make money? I, that makes no sense. And also, a lot of you are not financially sophisticated. You're Bitcoin sophisticated. You know about all of the cryptocurrencies. You know about all of the altcoins. You know about your little digital wallets. But you don't have any real wealth. And it is stunning how many of you don't realize that because well, it's going to go to the moon. I reached out to the person who had the Luna 
he still ain't answering my calls because I told him, I was like, it's going to crash, man. It's going to crash because it ain't built on nothing. And I say that everyone gets mad. It's like, you don't understand crypto and the technical projects. And I do understand foolishness. And a lot of crypto is foolishness. And in the future, I feel that crypto will be future. But none of the coins that are in existence today will be the future. What we're going to have is a crypto that's going to be a government-backed crypto. It's going to have rules, regulations, and it's going to be highly regulated, and it's going to be controlled. And that's going to be our massive distribution of crypto. I don't think any of the coins today, including Bitcoin, are going to make it to that point. I don't think they're going to make it. And I know many of you would disagree because you believe in Bitcoin. But once again, take the events that I saw today. And let's say you have crypto. Do you have 100K in the bank? The answer more than likely is going to be no. And here's the thing. Fortunes would be built during this global reset. And if you're spending all of your time on crypto and learning about something and learning all the altcoins, you are conducting a serious opportunity cost because you're not putting your time and attention towards something productive. Like, I, I know crypto is exciting. And I will admit, when I bought my crypt, I bought my Bitcoins for 10 bucks a coin and I sold them for 20,000, that was exciting. It was exciting. And that's one of the reasons I sold it because when it was zooming up, I was checking it all the day and I was like, look, I need to get rid of this because this is going to take my attention off of my real business. So I sold it and I did not buy any more. I have a little Bitcoin and Coinbase and I just watch it go up and down and stuff like that. I mean, I think it's like when Bitcoin was really high, it was like $2,000. Now I think it's like 200 bucks. But guys, you could be on, you know, and I keep hearing this thing. This is my thesis. And my thesis is proven by the billionaire class. The richest people in the world, and this is something you can fact check me on. The richest people in the world, the billionaire class, are all business owners. Yet for some reason, this false narrative that investors make the most money. And I can kind of see how that got conflated because a lot of people who are billionaires who had a business, who made a lot of money, later on became investors. And it, it, you know, and they missed the fact that they made all this money from their business. They missed that fact. And then they became investors. Some of my friends are investors, but they were once business owners and that's why they had the money to be an investor. But there are many of you who feel that you can take peanuts, 200, $300 a month, and turn that into a large payday. Even over 30 years, 200 bucks a month invested is not going to become a million dollars. Over 30 years, it's not going to become a million dollars. And this is the false narrative that I keep seeing because you want to challenge my thesis. And my thesis is the fastest way to get rich is to start a business. Or you can do the horse and buggy, which is investments. Horse and buggy. You can drive a Lambo or you can do the horse and buggy. It's a choice. And a lot of you are in the horse and buggy thinking that you're driving a Lambo. Except it don't hit, it don't skirt. And you're like, how come I, how come I go, yeah, yeah, it just won't go any faster. Because you're not in the Lambo. You're in the horse and buggy. And what this global reset, recession, the new world order is going to expose all of the fake ass financial investment people. It's going to expose every last one of them. Because right now, there are many people who are currently telling you to buy on the dip. Buy on the dip. It's going to go back up. And they forget in 1929, we had the Great Depression and the stock market was down for 10 years. 
been 90, 90 years since that happened. We're due. It's due for a long-term beat out. And you know, probably after the long-term, the market's gonna bounce back and it's gonna be good. And if you're relatively young, like in your 20s, you can weather this storm. But for the people who are like in their 50s and their 60s and trying to retire, this is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be a nightmare. One of my friends who has about seven million in the market, but he also has a business. And we were having a conversation the other night. And he says, I am down 40% across the board. So he had seven million, he's lost three. And he's like, thank God I have a business. He said, if I didn't have a business, I would be freaking out right now. Because he, he, he built up his portfolio and he's relatively young. He's only 40 and he wanted to have some other money somewhere else. So he has stopped investing in the stock market. He hasn't sold anything, but he's not putting any more money in the market right now. Because he's like, he's focusing on his business. He's focusing on his sales team. He's focusing on bringing more revenue. And, you know, because he doesn't need his portfolio to live because he has a business. But he was just sitting there and he was one of those people, because, you know, I have friends who disagree with me all the time. And he was one of those people who, like, you, you need to get in the market, man. And I kept telling him, I was like, I'm not getting in the market. And he said, I see why you are not so eager to get into the market. I'm not really hopping and skipping or... Because here's the thing, and I'm going to explain to you what's going on with me. I have a chunk of money that I can retire tomorrow. I can retire tomorrow, walk away, be fine. And I have a plan, I have a vision, because my retirement is going to be, I'm going to be driving Porsches. I'm going to be living in a million dollar house. I'm going to be eating steak. I am not going to have one of these hand to mouth, super frugal retirements where I would freak out or be afraid to spend money because I'm on a fixed income. I'm not having one of those retirements. I refuse. And here's the thing with me. Every day I get to do what I want to do. So in many regards, I'm already retired. So I'm not trying to chase that elusive get to the position so I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm not chasing that because I already have that. And one of these guys, like you like to talk about my online course business as if it's easy. I have a challenge for all of you. Go ahead and create the online course and try to sell it and see what happens. I dare you because you think it's easy. And recently I made a lot of money and there's no stimulus money. And it's like, yeah, hey, you got all the stimulus money. Maybe some people use stimulus money to buy a course. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I don't know where the money came from. I would say probably I got some stimulus money. But did I get any stimulus money in 2012? Did I get any stimulus money in 2017? Mm -mm, I didn't get no stimulus money. So these calls that the only reason you made that money is because of the stimulus money is from the weak ineffective and mentally impotent because I share so much with you that a lot of you are so caught up in how I live you have no vision on how you could live because with the selling of the intellectual property school I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say oh yeah you could take this course and you'll be making three million statistically I know that is a far-fetched but you can and I have the, the, the stats. You can small, you start a small YouTube channel and make five to $15,000 a month within 12 months. That's doable. That's doable. And for a lot of people, that's life-changing money. For that poor woman who got evicted today, if she had a YouTube business making five or $15,000 a month, she'd still be in her apartment. She'd still be there. So when I talk about life-changing money, and this is one of the things with the crypto, you have to invest money into crypto and you have to hold it and wait till it appreciates. Then once you sell it, you don't have your crypto anymore. But the business can reload month after month, year after year. 
Y'all don't hear me because I feel that you were seduced by the FIRE movement. Financial independence. Retire early. And so many of y'all are seduced that you want to sit down and do nothing because you're bums. You're just bums. And I'm just sitting here. Everybody wants to retire at 30. It's like, I don't want to work. I want to stop working. And this lack of motivation, lack of a work ethic, lack of ambition is highly distasteful. It's just highly distasteful. But there we are. And what you're going to see going forward, the global reset, like the events of today, multiply that times millions of people. The guy with the $7 in the tank of the Range Rover, multiply that times millions. The woman who got evicted, multiply that times millions. And that will give you some perspective on what's about to happen. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly. And I keep saying this and people are like, well, this is the doom and gloom channel. I am literally seeing the effects of the global reset in my daily walk of life. I know what the signs are. And y'all keep acting like it ain't gonna happen. And for all of you who choose ignorance, who choose to ignore, who choose to do nothing, good luck. That's all I gotta say to you, good luck.